people are confirmed dead and thousands are without homes following the tornadoes that swept through six states, including Illinois. Glenn Marshall is in the newsroom with more on the devastation. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Two days later and the death toll is still being calculated here in Illinois. Six lives have been lost due to the tornadoes, but in Kentucky, it was four twisters that touched down, destroying thousands of homes and killing dozens of people. I lost everything in my apartment, even my car. And people that live in the apartment with me, they lost everything too. So I don't have anything but what I got. A story that could be heard from many in Mayfield, Kentucky. The governor confirmed before tornadoes hit the state, destroying almost everything in its path. Ronald Hayes was blessed to survive. Well, we just heard a lot of wind blowing. Uh, just, we was in the basement. The ceiling was coming down a little. Uh, Doors was blowing open, people's down on the floor hollering, crying, praying. It was just bad. Thank God that we made, we survived out of there. However, the casualties are still adding up. The Mayfield Consumer Products plant utterly destroyed. Over 100 workers were busy fulfilling orders for the holiday, pushing out candles when the tornado ripped through the factory. Only 40 people were able to get out. Autumn Kirks was working at the factory with her boyfriend when the destruction started. He took my walkie-talkie and started to walk down the hallway, and they said, take cover. And that, I mean, I, I could still see him when they yelled, take cover. And that was it. I, I don't know what happened after that. I didn't see him. I didn't, I don't know. The tornadoes took an extreme path of about 200 miles through Kentucky, but more went through multiple states, including Tennessee, Arkansas, and Illinois, where six lives were lost at an Amazon distribution center in Edwardsville. But hope was seen in the midst of the wreckage. Members of First Christian Church and First Presbyterian Church came together in a parking lot surrounded by rubble praying. There are people who have gathered here today who've lost their homes, who've lost loved ones. There are people who've not heard from their family and loved ones and have been so worried. We will just simply pull together and find ways to grieve, celebrate, to locate, and to care. We do know that that candle company has confirmed eight people died and eight more are missing, but 90 others have been located since the rescue efforts began in Kentucky. Back to you guys in the studio.